Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Trophy and in today's video we're talking about baby products. I'm going to be showing you all of the baby products that I pretty much use on an everyday basis. These are the baby products that I feel are essential when you're having a newborn. My son is almost two months old. He's seven weeks, so he'll be two months next week. So I've had a little bit of time to use these products and these are the ones that I absolutely love and I think that they are must-haves when you have a newborn. Of course all of these products aren't really must-have, you don't absolutely need them, but I feel like they make your life a little bit easier. So we're just going to jump into the video. I don't really have them in no kind of order. I'm going to try to kind of clump the stuff that goes together. together. Um, so let's start with sleeping, things that you need for sleeping. So one of my favorite products that I have right here is the Docatot. If you guys watched my newborn baby gear haul, I was kind of reluctant because the price tag, I think these things are like $175, but I was saying that everybody loved them. So I went ahead and spent the money and I'm glad I did because I really do like this little sleeper. This is pretty much all he's been sleeping in. Um, he doesn't sleep in his bassinet which I bought so that was kind of a waste of money. He sleeps in this and he sleeps right next to me in the bed. Uh, and you can also move it to the living room so I like the fact that you can move it from one place to another and it's not even heavy. So this is bright white and this is the one that I got from Target. I don't let him sleep in it just by itself because... It can, you know, create stains if he pees or if he poops. I usually put some type of um, blanket on top. And this is a blanket that's kind of thicker. Not too thick because you don't want it to be too thick that it's not, um, that it kind of messes up the form of it. So when I put this inside, it still keeps the form of it. I have had to wash this one time. And as you can see, it's still nice and white. He did pee on it because I had a thinner sheet on it. The one day that I had a thinner sheet on it, that's the day he peed on it. But I did just wash it and I put it in the dryer. And it was fairly easy to put back on. It did take me a little while to um, put everything in. It does really well when you wash it. It's still nice and white. So I like it. I like it. I would definitely recommend this for sleep. Speaking of sleeping, when you have a newborn, it's very essential that you swaddle. Swaddle, swaddle, swaddle. My baby has like, I don't know, I don't know what he'd be thinking about, what he'd be dreaming about, but you know the newborn baby reflexes. When he sleeps without a swaddle, he'll wake himself up every single time. So he just like, in the middle of the night, just <laughs> jumping and stuff and moving and doing all types of stuff. So swaddles are very essential. I have three types of swaddles that we use. My favorite out of the three is this swaddle, the material or whatever it is. Um, I think it's just cotton. I like this swaddle because it forms and it kind of keeps the shape and he, he stays pretty snug inside of it. These are the ones that I got from the hospital. They really come in handy and I use them for swaddling and I also use them for just like lining uh, his changing pad and or like burping him or putting him down or anything. I use these things for everything. Another swaddle that's good is the Swaddle Me, which is this right here. So this one is nice for the squirmy babies because it has a velcro. You put the baby on the inside of this and then you do this part and then do this part and your baby is nice and snug in the velcro. Um, Terrell has found a way to get out of these things. So these are really good in the beginning. Um, I have a size small medium. I need to actually get the bigger size because he is a big baby and he's growing out of them. So now he can't really fit this one because I haven't gotten a bigger size. But when he was small and he could actually fit them, these things were so easy to just put on him. And you didn't have to worry about if you were like really good at swaddling because you know swaddling is an art. It is an art and it takes time to learn how to do it. But if you're not really good at swaddling, I would definitely recommend this because you just Velcro them inside and they're good. They're good. They look so freaking cute when they're inside as well. And then the third type of swaddle that I use is the muslin swaddle, swa muslin type material swaddles. And these are my least favorite swaddles because they're just, I don't know, they're too thin to me. I feel like he can really, really easily get out of these. So using this by itself is a no for me. I use this on top of this. So I use this on top of this just to reinforce sometimes, especially now that he's bigger and he can barely fit inside of these. I use this and then I put this on top of it. So I double swaddle him and he's really, really, like he can't move at all. 
Another bedtime must have is a sleep machine. This sleep machine was given to me as a gift. This is the Project Nursery sleep machine. And I think uh, the person bought it from Walmart. It has a light, it has a timer, and it has different sounds. And you can even like connect it with Bluetooth. And the sound that I use most often is kind of like a rain sound. It kind of sounds like white noise and it kind of sounds like rain at the same time. It's just like a shh. And um, he sleeps really well when he has that sound. I noticed that whenever I turn it on and I turn off the lights and everything, then it's pretty easy for him to go to sleep. And I think this one is actually pretty affordable. I don't think that you need a really expensive sound machine. I had the Hatch Baby one. And I just went ahead and um, returned it since somebody had gave me this one as a gift. And this one does the job. Uh, and if you don't have a sleep machine, if you don't want to buy a sleep machine, you can also get the app. Uh, let me see what the name of the app is that I have. I have the app. It's called Sound Sleeper. And it has different sounds just like a sound machine would have. And this one is absolutely free. So it tells you and it has like little categories. The ones, the sounds that are best for newborns, the sounds that are best for infants, the sounds that are best for toddlers. So moving on, let's talk about breastfeeding. If you are a breastfeeding mom, I'm going to tell you all the things that I think that you need. You definitely need a pump. I mean, you don't absolutely need a pump, but I think pumping just makes it easier, especially if you want to put your milk in a bottle and you want to bottle feed your baby. The pump that I have is this one right here. This is the Spectra 2 pump and it's a double pump so you can pump both of your breasts at the same time i usually just store it just like this and then i'll wash out the uh, pumping parts and just connect it so it comes with this part and all of this stuff comes apart and, and then it comes with the bottle and the little funnel that you put on your breast it's not called a funnel you got the little attachment part i don't know the name of it but you just attach it like so and then you connect it to the machine and then you apply it and then you can pump and this machine is pretty easy to put together it's pretty easy to learn how to do it's pretty self-explanatory you put the parts together and then you pump and then um, it has these little storage bottles the only thing is if you decide to get a spectra pump it's kind of, it's harder to find a uh, replacement items and materials for it so i would also recommend a medela pump because i use medela when I was at the hospital and they worked pretty good to me. I didn't see like a significant difference with the hospital pump and the um, Spectra pump. And the Spectra pump is a hospital grade pump and I use the Medela hospital grade pump when I was at the hospital. So make sure you get a hospital grade pump because those are supposed to be the best ones. Also, if you're breastfeeding, I would recommend the Hacka. It's called a breast pump. So some people use it as a breast pump and they just pump. I haven't been able to do it like that because I don't get that milk, much milk when I do it like that. And I don't even think it works for me. The way that I use it is I just attach it to my breast while Terrell is feeding on one side. I just put this on the breast and it kind of suctions on there and it catches all the letdown so you know when you're feeding your other breast starts to drip or whatever this catches all the drip and each time i feed him i uh, get about one ounce at least one ounce or one and a half ounce just from just putting this right there so if you're like the type who wants to save all your milk as much milk as you can you should definitely get this because this um collects all the milk that you would pretty much drip anyway. Also recommend getting a manual portable pump. Um, this definitely isn't a need, but if you are on the go and you want to be out and you don't feel like taking your electrical pump and everything and you just need to like pump because your breasts are full, then I would definitely, you know, recommend getting one of these. It's like $30 and I got it from Target and I just put it in my diaper bag and if I'm out somewhere uh, and I need to like pump, but he hasn't breastfed enough and my breast is still full then I will use this and um, the times that I use that I feel like I got a lot more milk than just with the electrical pump because I guess it does more and it really sucks the milk out I really really like this one especially and sometimes I use this one at home when I don't feel like using the electrical one if you plan on storing and saving your milk I would definitely recommend you get some storage bags these are the ones I have these are the Lansano breast milk storage bags and they hold about six ounces of milk and you get the pack that I have, you get 50 of them. This is what the bag looks like. And I like it because it has a double seal. So you can seal it once and then you can seal it twice. Just to make sure that nothing won't come out. 
and it has like on the side it tells you how many milliliters and how many ounces are in it and then you can write the date you can write your name you can write the name of it i don't know what the name of it would be other than breast milk i don't write the name i just write the date the volume and the time on it so here's a look at some of the ones that i've saved so far i like them because they're pretty thin so you can store a lot of milk and all i did was wrote the times and the dates and everything on them so whenever i take them out I can just go straight to it. I put the older ones in the front and then I put the newer ones in the back so I can use the older ones first. If you guys want a video specifically about my breastfeeding journey and you know how I store my milk and how I pump and freeze and all that stuff, leave it down below in the comments and I will get on that ASAP. So let's talk about things that you need when you are changing the baby. Obviously you need pampers and you need, I'm talking about pampers, obviously you need diapers and you need uh, wipes. My favorite type of diapers right now are the Huggies diapers. I use Pampers and I use Huggies and I prefer the Huggies over the Pampers. I just like the way that they fit a lot better. I feel like they keep everything in a little better and I just, just like them better than the Pampers. And then the wipes that I like the most are the Pampers wipes. To me, they feel more moist. The Huggies ones aren't as wet and I feel like the Pampers ones, it's just easier and you use less you can get more up because they're wetter but of course it just depends on your baby all babies are different some babies like a certain brand better than another brand also when you're changing you're definitely going to need some type of product for diaper rash i have two different products that i like i have the Bujo's butt paste and then i have the aquaphor healing ointment the Boudreaux's butt paste, especially the red one, is really, really strong. I'm not saying strong in a bad way, but it works instantly, basically. So if your uh, child has a diaper rash and you want to get rid of it, put this on there and it'll be gone the next day. It's like a thick paste. It smells really good to me. It kind of has like a sweet little scent to it. But I'm telling you, if you put this on your baby's butt, the diaper rash goes away instantly. It dries it out and it's gone. So, but I don't use this all the time because it is pretty hard to clean up. And I find myself having to use a lot of wipes each time just to get clean up this stuff off of it. Because it's it kind of sticks to the baby. Especially if your baby have a lot of rolls. It gets stuck in the crevices and everything. So when I'm not using this, I use this. This is the Aquaphor Healing Ointment. And I just put this on him after um, each time I change his diaper. And this works as like a barrier, a skin barrier. So that when he poops and when he pees, it doesn't get directly on his skin. It gets on this. And this helps to protect his skin. I like using it on his skin to... Um, to kind of moisturize it and especially if his skin is peeling and if it's cracking when I put that on his face it just it gets rid of it like the next day so I definitely recommend this aquaphor and this both of these I love both of these so much you're gonna need some type of changing table and the one I use is the system it's the Graco pack and play and I love it because it has a changing table on it it has a little uh, rocker on it that you can remove and then underneath it also has a bassinet so if you don't want to like buy separate things you can just buy that and you have like a three-in-one system and I also like the fact that it has a storage on the side which is where I put all the diapers all the wipes and then all the little everyday diaper change and just hygiene stuff for him and I have everything in one spot I literally use that thing all day long every day I cannot live without it it's so freaking good I use it all day like literally all day since day one so that's one of the things that I just I think everybody should have I think everybody should have it's just great all in one product the next newborn must have is the boppy pillow this pillow is great it has different functions uh, it's really good if you need a break from nursing you can just wrap it around you and then you place your baby right here and you can actually be hands free you can move your hands and your baby can be breastfeeding instead of having your arms hurt and you're just holding your baby and you're just like oh, oh, I can't move and you feel so restricted and then also you can use it to prop up your baby sometimes I use it when I just want Terrell to sit up of course I'm monitoring him and I just want him to sit up so he sits like right here and he can sit up and look at everything um, so the boppy pillow is bad. Okay, so the product that I am most passionate about today in this video is my Graco Simple Sway Swing, y'all. So I just got the swing, has it been a week? It's probably been about a week or less that I got the swing. I ordered it off Amazon and I'm telling you this thing is amazing. I had the Mamaru swing at first, which is 
double the price if not triple the price and Terrell was not the biggest fan of that swing so I did I listened to all the hype that everybody was saying it was the best swing out there and then when I go on Amazon I see this swing and it had really good reviews as well and it's only $81 and the swing is very simple all it does is sways back and forth back and forth and it has different speeds it'll go slow all the way up to six feet it plays music um and it has like little different sounds on it and i think that's about it and then it has like a little overhead mobile on it so that the baby could look at the stars but it's so simple and it's really all you need another thing to note about the great go swing is the hair support it doesn't have the best hair support the thing that they have inserted inside of it when i just leave that by itself Terrell will lean over it and he'll be just leaning and sleeping and I don't like for him to do that so I had the uh, Mama Ru infant insert still so I just put that in there and then that keeps his head nice and straight so he's not leaning in it. Terrell likes to be picked up and held all the time and he would literally cry every time I put him down no matter what he was in if he was inside of his little rocker uh, when he used to be inside of the Mama Ru. Anything, if I just put him down for a second, he would just cry because he wants to be held all the time. And this swing, as soon as I put him in this swing, y'all, as soon as I put him in this swing, it instantly, like, helped. It was crazy. Like, all of my prayers have been answered. <sighs> I just cannot just... I want to cry right now. That swing is so freaking good, so I definitely recommend it. In addition to the swing, if your baby likes to be held like mine does, I would definitely recommend you get a carrier. I like this carrier because it is really easy to just put on and go. The I had a different type at first. I think it was the Moby Wrap Carrier, and it was too hard for me. Like All those steps and then the wrapping and the placing the baby inside and making sure that you wrap it just right and it has to be this way and that way, it was too much. So I returned that and I got this one off of Amazon. I think it was about $30 uh, and it does the job. It's really, really nice. It feels secure. It has buckles at the bottom. It has buckles, two sets of buckles on each side. Um, and this one, you can use it in different ways. So you can face the baby inside, you can face the baby outside, and then you can put the baby on your back. Of course, it depends on the um, age of the baby. So right now, since Terrell is a newborn, the only way that he can face is inward when he's able to hold his head up on his own, then he can face outward. And then I think when they're... I don't know a little bit older then they can be on your back the box has a chart on it and it tells you like when they can do each step of it so yeah this one is really really nice it's so easy to put on and take off it takes less than a minute just to buckle everything on put the baby on and go obviously you're going to need a car seat and you're going to need a stroller the one that i have is the bright I'll put a picture, I don't know the exact name of it, but it's a combo, so you have the car seat and you have the stroller, which I think is perfecto, because you can take the car seat out and attach it to the stroller, and it makes it really, really easy. I like that specific stroller and car seat because it's really lightweight, and like I can handle it all by myself and be in and out of places. I can easily pack up the stroller, put it in the trunk, take it out, connect the car seat and be on my way. I like the fact that it's lightweight. When I roll it, it's really, really smooth and it turns nicely. And then also it can grow with the baby. So when the baby's big enough to be in a regular stroller, you can use the regular stroller and you can attach the little tray to it so the baby can have like their little sippy cup and everything. You can take walks. I just really, really love this stroller and I would definitely, definitely recommend that one. When you're on the go, another thing that you're going to need is a diaper bag. This is the diaper bag that I have which I absolutely love. I love the color of it. I think it's just so cute and it's so she. It's just the right size that I can put everything that I need inside of it. I like the style of this diaper bag. It's the backpack kind, so you can just put it on your back and you can go, you can be hands free. You don't have to worry about having a diaper bag in one hand and trying to balance the baby in the other hand. You can just put this on your back and you can be hands free. It has different compartments, so on the inside it's insulated and I can put bottles in there and they stay nice and cool for a long period of time. And they really do, it really does work because when I put a cool bottle in here, take it out, it's still cool. It also comes with a little changing pad so when you're in public and you don't want to put your baby directly on the changing pad, you can just put this down and then when you get home you can disinfect it or whatever. I will be making a what's in my diaper bag video very very soon, like within the next couple of days. 
So be on the lookout for this video. It's coming real soon. It's coming at ya. Wait, how does this all go? It's Cleopatra coming at ya. Cleopatra coming at ya. The next thing that you're absolutely going to need is a baby bath. This is the one that we have. It's nice and simple. This is no more than $15 at Target and it really does the job. You just put it inside of the sink. When I was looking at the reviews, it was saying that the little holes will smush the baby's uh, private area. So if you have a boy and you don't want to get his private area smushed, then I would recommend to put down like some type of little towel or a blanket inside, which is what I do. We have a special guest. To rally, rally, rally. To rally, rally, rally. So Terrell is going to be with us for the rest of the video. If he can stay quiet. If not, I'm going to go put him back in the swing. I'm going to go put him back in the swing. <laughs> I'm saying it all sweet, but I will. As far as baby washes and shampoos, I've been using Aveeno and the Burst Bees. I'm not really like head over heels in love with either one of them because... He has really sensitive dry skin, so I'm still looking for the best products for him and his skin. So if you recommend anything, please leave it down below. Let's talk about clothing. As far as clothing, I keep it very, very simple with my baby. All he wears all the time are onesies and socks. Onesies and socks, as you can see. Onesies and socks, because he really doesn't go anywhere. And I just think it's pointless to just buy him full outfits right now. But when he gets bigger, he'll be wearing more but right now all he wears is onesies and socks when he sleeps i just keep him in a onesie and then i wrap him up and swallow him i don't put uh any of those long sleeve sleepers on him when he gets old enough that he doesn't have to be swallowed then i'll get the long sleeve sleep sleepers and let him sleep in those but right now i think that'll be too hot for him since he's already getting swallowed and if i just let him sleep in that by itself then he'll be waking himself up every few minutes because of the, his little reflexes that he has when he sleeps at night he likes when I hold him like this. <laughs> Babies are pretty messy, so you're gonna need bibs and you're gonna need burping cloths. Those are essential. It doesn't really matter what kind, just get bibs. The kind I like the most, which I think are so freaking cute, are the, the bandana kind. When I put those on him, he looks so freaking handsome and so cute. The next product that I cannot live without, which I think is amazing, is the Nose Frida. So you put your mouth on this side, the little red side, and then the other side you use to suck out the baby's boogers. So for example, I'll put this right, oh please not fit up on me. I'll put this right here and then I would suck in and then suck out his boogers. And it makes it so much easier than using like the old fashioned kind, the regular uh, nose aspirator type thing and don't worry about you sucking the boogers like in your mouth because it has a little filter in there so it catches everything another must have is hand sanitizer we keep hand sanitizer all over the house because you want to make sure that you try to keep your hands as clean as possible and the baby doesn't get any germs especially when you have guests and everything come over when we have guests i tell them to wash their hands and to sanitize their hands like you gotta wash and you gotta sanitize before you touch this baby before you touch this baby. Come on, let me demonstrate something. This is how I would sit him in there when he's in a good mood. And he'll just sit up and look at me. I want the want the mama. I just the want the chicken. Oh, baby, baby, boo boo. Oh, mama, mama, sasa. You're like, girl, you know you don't be talking to me like that. <laughs> I just talk to him like he a, a grown man, a grown baby man. Another thing that you're going to need is a thermometer. This is the kind we have. This is the KMP. I don't know how much it is or whatever. This is the kind we took from the hospital and all you have to do is just turn it on and then put it underneath their underarms and it's pretty accurate. Another essential for me since I'm breastfeeding is the Infamil D Viso Liquid Vitamin D Supplement. I guess you could have any type of vitamin D supplement. Um, I have to supplement him with vitamin D because they said that when you breastfeed the baby oh. doesn't get hey. <laughs> When you breastfeed, the baby doesn't get enough vitamin D, so it's good to supplement them. And I have noticed the difference when we used to change him before we started uh, supplement him with vitamin D. You know when your bones pop and you hear that popping noise? So when we change him and move his legs and stuff, it will have the popping noise. But ever since we've uh, started using this daily, I give him one milliliter a day. Ever since we started using that, then I haven't been hearing them. And if I do hear them, it's just definitely not as often as I did in the first place. So, 
These are very, very essential, especially if you're breastfeeding. Make sure that you supplement your baby with their vitamin D because they don't get enough from the breast milk. Another essential is a play mat. Terrell has like a little puppy play mat, which he loves. And we use that every single day when we do tummy time. I think it's good to just have something that's on a flat surface. Something that will give them the opportunity to look at different colors and different things and shapes and stuff like that. Because he loves his... He does it for tummy time. He likes to sit on his back and look up at the different things that are hanging. Lately, he's been hitting the little bumblebee that hangs from the top and he's been using his hands and stuff and looking at the bright, pretty colors. So a play mat is definitely an essential and play mats are pretty fairly cheap and you can find them pretty much anywhere. All right, you guys, so that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please comment down below and like this video if you're not already subscribed. Subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of the Troop Squad! <laughs> As always, I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!